I am Ramona and welcome to Ramona Interviews. And with me in the chair today is Bill Densmore. Welcome, Bill. Glad to be here. Thank you so much. We're going to talk about the Center for Nonviolent Solutions and your role in that center and your passion in life that, that brought this into a creation. So tell us, what was your journey into the creation of this center? I realized over the years, over my 87 years, that as I rambled on through life, I more and more became aware that, that solutions that don't involve, involve win-lose confrontation, heavy-duty argument, and that physical violence aren't what get you where you want to go. That if you can resolve things reasonably and more or less courteously, that that's the way to do it. This was reinforced by uh, two important books that came out recently. Well, not recently, but oh, maybe 20 years ago, Getting to Yes was published and was a huge bestseller. And it just described how to negotiate in a way that creates a win-win solution. Uh, th this was reinforced by another million dollars, million volume seller, uh, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Mm -hmm. And one of the seven habits that he described is to seek win-win solutions. We, I think, sometimes make the mistake of thinking that somebody has to win and somebody has to lose. Uh, often, y you can find uh, solutions that are satisfactory to both parties. Then, uh, in 1990 to 95, I was executive director of the College's Worcester Consortium. And I came to know uh, several people who were teaching peace studies and conflict resolution courses. Uh, one of the key players was Mike True, who's a now retired professor of English at Assumption College. And, and Mike is a noted and internationally known a lecturer and author and teacher in, in the field of, of what we came to call nonviolent solutions. And it was he and I that uh, he, he got a group together to discuss forming a center, which we, after considerable discussion, agreed to call the Center for Nonviolent Solutions, because I think that's a better language to use than uh, peace seeking. Mm -hmm. And this center is in Worcester? This center is in Worcester. We have a, a tiny office on the third floor of the, of the Quaker Meeting House out on Pleasant Street. Mm -hmm. And what is the mission of the center and how has it grown? Well, the, the mission that we agreed to, the mission statement that we agreed to use is to provide education and resources for people in the Worcester area to understand nonviolence as a way of life and to reject violence in resolving conflict. And the vision that flows from that mission is that we hope that Worcester people, Worcester area people, will recognize the need for and viability of nonviolent solutions and that they will understand and use the various conflict management skills, the skills that lead you to nonviolent solutions, and that they will come to support policy to reduce military costs and warfare. Mm -hmm. So the center is a teaching tool. You can go to the center to be taught how to use these things, uh, how to use these concepts. Is that correct? Yes. Well, not so much go to the center as the center is a is a web resource with a, with a small library mm -hmm. where people can get information. But uh, the way the mission will be achieved primarily will be through through outreach, through okay. reaching out to community groups and participating in programs. Okay, and that could be anything from anti-bullying or the bullying agenda now that's, that you see that's going on in schools is 
is a part of nonviolent That's solutions. That's right. It's a nonviolent solution. Um, tell us a little bit about the founding members um, of the of the center. Well, I spoke of Mike True. He was the first chairman. Uh, then he was followed by Claire Schaefer Duffy. She and her husband started the Catholic Worker Community in Worcester many years ago, which uh, takes care of people in need, and, and, and they personally have done a great deal in the way of, uh, of seeking nonviolence and protesting violence in our society. Mm -hmm. Another key person was then the next board chair is Paul Ropp, who's a retired professor of history and, and department head at Clark University. He comes from the Mennonite tradition, one of the three peace religions, and is very committed to what we're doing and very competent as a leader. Another uh, key person is Carol Baldarelli, who r ran the uh, Mediation Services Center at uh, Worcester, the Worcester Community Action Council for many years. We're very lucky to have her working hard. Uh, another key board member is Martha Yeager, who is the head of uh, this district for the uh, uh, American Friends Service Committee. Another, is Michael Langa, is a native South African who has two master's degrees from South African universities and was very involved in the uh, reconciliation projects after apartheid in mm -hmm. South Africa. Brings a very interesting perspective. Joda Rivera is just retired from Clark University where he was a psychology professor and taught their peace studies program and is involved in uh, national, organiza national organizations of uh, psychology teachers mm -hmm. in that field. And the last one I just mentioned is John Paul Morosi, who uh, is active in the Agape community, which is a, a peace promotion program in Western Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like the the founding people come from they were they were already doing something within the nonviolent community. I, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but the nonviolent solutions community, in their own way, whether they were teaching through peace studies um, at specific colleges. Yeah, I, I would say that each in their own way have great expertise in this field. So I have learned a great deal from them because. Not anything that I started off knowing very much about. And then they've all um, come together um, to kind of bring their expertise into it, the center itself. And again, you said the center is web-based, so people could go online uh, and check out the center. And there would be resources that are not that are local. Are there also national resources, like things that are happening if there's a protest happening or if there's something going on? Um, worldwide, would that well, also be on the yeah, site? Yeah, well, and a lot of uh, a lot of it is is what we're trying to do is uh, find out who 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 are doing the best job in this field of education about nonviolent solutions, and really promoting nonviolent solutions, mm -hmm. and linking to that information on our website. So that, that's a principal use of it. Mm -hmm. And I should mention that it's www.nonviolentsolution.org, singular, not, we couldn't use nonviolent solutions because it was taken, so it's nonviolent solution. solution. If you add the S, you get to the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> we define warfare all over the world and point out not only typical warfare where one country has a war with another country, but we count it, we, we also look at genocide as, as my understanding is that often when it's a military overthrow of a government, as you just said, you wind up with a regime that's just as oppressive as the one that got overthrown. 
Whereas if it's a real people's movement, you're much more likely to move to a real democracy. Yeah. So first of all, promoting sustainable development so that we don't run out of resources. Mm -hmm. Then promoting respect for all human rights, such as the such as the United Nations statement on human rights that Eleanor Roosevelt orchestrated in 1948. Ensure equality between men and women. Support open communication. Foster participative democracy, real democracy. Promote international peace and security. And, and advance understanding and tolerance and respect for one another. Well, make sure that they check out www. Now I'm going to get it right. Nonviolentsolution.org. Right. And, and that will be your one-stop resource, um, specifically in Worcester, but it reaches the world. Um, for the center, thank you so much, Bill Densmore. Thank you for all your dedication and for starting the center. I am Ramona, and you've been watching Ramona Interviews. Have a wonderful week.